Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can add an RSS feed to your SharePoint site. RSS stands for Rich Site Summary. It's essentially a way for you to add content from other sites like blogs and news, various news sources to your site, in this case, SharePoint site. Um, there is a, essentially an RSS uh, feed web part that allows us to do that. And very, very important, the trick I'm going to show you only works with team site. Essentially, this particular web part, RSS feed web part, only exists on team sites, on team sites connected to an Office 365 group, which is what you see on the screen right now. Uh, RSS feed web part does not exist on communication sites, which is a bit weird to me because I think this is where th th these are the types of sites that I think uh, would benefit from it most. Uh, but at the moment, we only got them on team sites uh, that are connected uh, to an Office 365 group. So let me walk you through the steps. Um, pretty simple. So we are going to edit the page, click the edit button. And let's go ahead and add this web port. Click uh, plus, and uh, it should be here in the list right here. All right. And essentially, it just asks you a few questions. You know, what do you want to call your uh, kind of, you have to give it a name to your uh, connection. Let's give it, uh, in this case, by the way, I'm going to use my blog as an example. We're going to connect uh, the posts from my blog to, uh, to to this particular site. So we are just going to uh, give it a name right here. Perfect. All right. And then this is the most important field. Uh, we have to pretty much um, enter the feed URL. Now, this is something you have to obtain from the news source. All right. Um, usually there is a button or something that, that uh, allows you to grab uh, the RSS uh, feed URL from the new sources. Uh, in my case, with my blog, uh, essentially it's just, um, um, you know, I have to add this feed at the end of the URL and this is what it looks like. Uh, but what you want to do is just copy this uh, feed, this URL and pretty much paste it in here, all right? Again, you will just be, um, the the URL of course will be different for whatever source you're grabbing it from. So just make sure to copy the proper URL uh, from that particular source. And then you just have to specify the frequency of how frequently it will keep uh, looking for updates, right? How frequently it will refresh the information, all right? Let's keep it at six hours. I don't think we need to do it more often. Uh, all right, and then click save, and let's see what happens. Look at this, here we go. Um, it pretty much copied over, right, um, now copied over the information from my um, blog, and um, you can see the few latest uh, few latest uh, blog posts from my uh, blog now. And of course, right, so let's give it a name. Let's just finish this. Let's just give it a name, uh, all right, uh, and hit publish. And of course, now that we established this connection, um, you uh, every time I guess I publish a new blog post on my blog, right? Or if there is a new article on the new source, it will just pretty much uh, appear over here, um, you know, automatically. All right. So that's all I wanted to mention in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.